Hello again, and welcome to our Burns Rare and Well Done video podcast that we created and elevated especially for you, our readers, about our culinary and lifestyle book. I'm Chrissy Laxer. And I'm David Laxer. Today's episode features our executive chef from the Epicurean Elevage in Haven, Chad Johnson. So David, Chad has helped shape the culinary landscape. What do we expect of him from our renovation? Chad has been the culinary visionary for the Epicurean Hotel. From building the kitchen to educating the young chefs, his new challenge with Haven is to develop a new twist on a classic wine bar theme. So let's enjoy some of his favorite and ours from the Epicurean Elevage and Haven. We are going to be making you the stone crab carbonara, which is clearly one of the favorites during stone crab season here in Florida. So Chad and Courtney, um, obviously stone crabs are one of my favorite things, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this recipe a lot. So carbonara <laughs> is like my all time favorite dish. It's my late night munchie, because if you have everything in your fridge, and it's basically pasta, eggs, a cured pork product, whether it be bacon or guanciale that we use, some pecorino parmesan cheese, you can make it one pan, super quick and easy. This is our fancy variation that we do during stone crab season. So if okay. you take a crab out, it's a very traditional variation. We start off with a little bit of butter. Just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> and then into that butter, in case the butter wasn't rich enough, is our guanciale, which is... It's fancy pork. It's basically <laughs> hog gel that's been treated like bacon minus the smoke. So it's a cured hog gel. You could use bacon, you could use uh, pancetta. Um, it's even pretty good with like prosciutto or, or any type of smoky okay. ham. And then not completely traditional, but we do like to do a little bit of shallots and garlic into our carbonara, just enough that it adds a little bit more perfume. I'm a pretty big believer that everything's better with garlic. We have our fresh tagliatelle, which is just a simple egg-based dough. I like this for carbonara. I think it's the nice size of the noodle. Boiling noodles. Boiling. Sim simple for people at home. Everybody can boil some noodles. Salt and water. What Courtney's doing now is just kind of moving the pasta around a little bit so it doesn't clump together. So once we get to the point that all of the, the aromatics are starting to become fragrant, we take just about a tablespoon of heavy cream. Mm -hmm. That's really more to kind of kill the uh, the heat of the pan, just to tone oh, down the cooking. Okay. And at that point, that's almost kind of ready to wait for the pasta. And then we have the star of the dish, which is the stone crab. Stone crabs come already cooked, so you don't really want to overcook them. Okay. So all we do is add them into the pan with that residual heat that's on. Out of the shell, like you're showing here. Out of the shell. Okay. So we take and just let that little bit of residual warmth from the heavy cream and the guanciale fat finish warming them up. And then we're gonna take, put them back on. If the pan gets a little bit dry, you can add another drop of cream. And then they will finish with the pasta in the pan and the cheese and the eggs, which is really what brings the carbonara together. And just like our other recipe for the pasta, you like cooking, finishing the pasta off in the pan. Absolutely, yeah. We always take all of our pastas and finish them in the pan with the sauce. So you have a little bit of that residual pasta water in the cream that's going to finish warming the crab. I learned um, something new today. <laughs> so to garnish this before we put it on the plate, we like to take some sage leaves and pan fry them in a little bit of butter. So the sage okay. actually gets really crispy like a potato chip. Okay. So it adds a nice contrast. So now that we get the pasta down to where the pan is almost dry. And this probably is like, what, one to two minutes, like you're showing here, just. Whole dish, start to finish, five minutes. Once you get the pasta in the pan, you're talking another minute to two minutes tops. And then freshly ground black pepper. And then what truly makes carbonara so rich and decadent is egg yolks. And the key to it is to add the egg yolks and not actually put the pan back onto the heat. I think I like eggs, I like stone crab, I like all of the things that are in this pot. So, and then just to finish it, we put a little bit more uh, fresh cracked pepper on top. All right, so the true taste test, all my favorites in one bowl. I mean, are you kidding me? I'm just gonna run with the bowl. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I mean, the, the magic combination. Well, thank you, Chad and Courtney. I definitely think this will be a favorite for stone crab season. And that is our stone crab carbonara.